Hey guys, what up here, and welcome back to NASCAR 2004 Crew Room for part number 13. We got Kansas, Lowe's, probably Martinsville. I'm worried. I'm very worried. I mean, we were 42 points back. I don't know if we can make that. I mean, we might be able to make it up, but that the Richmond incident cost us like over 100 points, so that's not going to make things any better. But Kansas, from what Dale showed in this video, it seemed like it's possible to win without much of a problem. So I, I guess we'll try and hope for that to happen. We're going to go into this with pretty good stuff with the everything, you know, all things considered. 64 car rating, that's really good. So, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm using uh, the OG 360 controller. I'm afraid to even move it because it still does the weird things. So I'm hoping that I can get my former god tier glory back of being just slightly below dale not like astronomically below him so that's the goal yeah i'm just gonna we're just gonna go with that i banged my finger off my desk but i mean it was good enough for a pull the car was really tight so we're definitely gonna make it a bit looser hopefully that doesn't bite us in the ass in the race but dale jr is nowhere to be found he's not even in okay he's seventh I don't know what to honestly expect. <laughs> but we're just gonna hope for something something good. Yeah, it's so nice to play this on like the the, the, the officially licensed 360 controller. It just feels very comfortable. It feels like it feels like a glove has been bit back on. I you know I messed up turn one there a little bit. Yes, I mean I probably could have gotten a lot, a lot faster in qualifying. Just to kind of see just how much faster I would be from the rest of the field. But, we're, we're holding on pretty good. And we're going to probably lead this lap? Maybe? Barely. Alright. Let's just get into turn one. I want to get off turn two and then I can relax a little bit. You know, I messed up that corner. I really messed up that corner. I probably could have got the lead there, but, you know, instead I just wanted to fuck it. For no reason. Just, just wanted to ruin it. Or and get by so I can get back down to the bottom. Got to try to get a good cut off the corner to get to the inside. Perfect. And just like the first lap, we're going to barely get by and by the line. Okay, now let's get through turn one and not lose the bottom lane. That was kind of bad, but he still, he still kept the car length on him. I Alright, let's just focus and pull away. A little bit of an update on the race. We're still pulling away from Dale Jr. just slowly. Try and take it easy in the corners because the car is getting loose. It feels it wants to get tight at the same time, so it's a bit weird handling, but it's been manageable. Thank God the car is good enough on the straights to pull Junior away. I would have to imagine because I don't think we're making up our time in the corners. But lap 13 will pit. We have a good cushion on them, but again, I'm just worried about the pit crew messing up because that's been kind of our Achilles heel the last few races. It seems like. That could have been really bad. But we lost a lot of time from that, so that's not good. We had about a second on him, and now it's down to four tenths. Well, there goes our lead, and there goes our buffer, or I guess a cushion is the right word. Yeah, that little tap of the apron, that just kind of did that weird hop, and that just killed us. I think that's what caused it. I don't even remember. Well, now it's all going to come down the pit crew. Try to take it easy. Take Don't spin. Whew. We just lost a spot. We're third. Sorry, Junior. <laughs> Alright, four tires and we'll be out. Not repair damage. Of course. Of course, Junior has the intelligence to go to the left. My AI driver doesn't, so that's just great. Oh, of course. We'll just make a mistake. Let's just throw away this championship even more. Yeah, it just, you know. And Gordon's going to beat us out of pit road and Dale Jr. 18 seconds stop. Surprisingly, Jr. did not beat Gordon out of pit road, even though Gordon was like two seconds back. So that's interesting. I'm just going to LePage in front of the field. Maybe they'll gain some time being on the racing surface before they... Yeah, it's going to... All right, it's going to gain some time. That's good. Well, uh, now we got to catch Gordon because he's in virtual P1. Well, this race got flipped on its head. Um, I mean, we're going to cycle out six. 
We're ahead of Junior, which is nice, but we lost a lot of time during that cycle, which isn't good. Kind of sucks. I don't think we're going to be able to run him down. I think Mark Lewis should be able to get by, because he seems like he's starting to fall off a little bit. Don't know who's leading. So it's hard to tell. But... We should lead the most laps, and we should gain a lot of points on Junior, so that's going to be really good for us. At least I hope so. In Jeff Gordon's draft, holy good god of speed, and Coors Gordon has to block it like a punk. Don't hit the apron thing. Damn it. Didn't really think I was going to get by Gordon, but hey, Newman blew up. I think that's Newman. I mean, that's a free spot. I'll take it. <laughs> that's weird. I think that's Ricky Rudd leading. Trying to get by Gorin. The car is getting a little, little weird feeling. But that should be for third without too much of a hassle. It seems like Jared and Rudd, I think they pitted before us. That's why they undercut us so well. But we are catching them, so it is possible to uh, to get by them. Got to the inside of Jared. Should be able to get by him, no problem. It does seem like they're on a lot older tires just because we're able to roll them in a lot quicker. Which is nice, which means we still have a shot at this. But Ricky Rudd, like, like the crew chief said, we're a second back, so uh, I like to think it's possible. But obviously messing up turns one and two, like, that doesn't make our case any better. Oh, oh there goes our race. Fuck! I didn't think I was pushing the car that hard, but I guess I was. Son of a bitch. And of course, as soon as I do that, then... Ricky Rudd's having a hard time trying to get around Mike Skinner. The irony. The absolute irony. The tragedy. It's just so unfortunate. White flags out. Mike Skinner was blocking me for no fucking reason. Eh, we lost too much time from that wall hit. That sucks. I just keep finding new ways to choke it, but we're going to gain a stupid amount of points on Junior, so that's going to be a, a very good plus out of this race. Oh, this is bittersweet. I mean, I'm happy Ricky Rudd won, of all people. That's kind of cool. But damn it, I wanted to win. I keep, I just keep falling short to passing Dale. I just, I keep falling short. Where did Junior finish? Eighth! Ooh, we're going to gain some good points on them. Take a look at the results. More big chunk of money. We actually did lead the most laps barely, so we get 180 points to Dale Jr.'s 142. So we're going to gain about 38 points. So we're almost, man, we cut that lead, that gap he had over us by a, a ton. Same with Tony Stewart. So, uh, point battle, we got a shot. We're going to Lowe's, which that should be almost a guaranteed win. So we should be able to gain points on there no matter what. So. I mean, it's looking good. We, we have life in the championship battle again. So team management, garage. I don't think there's anything to do here. We can do something here. And what do I actually want to work on? I guess this one. Maybe this one. We'll, yeah, we'll do that one. Ooh, look at that. Goes up 66 on the power. Sure, why not? We'll do that one. Bodies. Um, that's still our best one. And that's it being worn. <laughs> Yeah, I, I guess that's really it. I mean, there's nothing really much more to do in the shop because by the time it gets done, our you know our ch championship rookie thing is over, so there's no point in that. Point standings. Only four back to Dale Jr. Tony Stewart gained a good bit after that one, too. And uh, Ricky Rudd got a win. That puts them up to... Ooh, he has two wins. Okay. And, uh, yeah, we'll just save uh, this, and then we'll jump into Charlotte, I guess, or Lowe's. All right, let's go with whatever car we got. That's the best. That one seems to be the best with the, the engine stuff or the tire wear. Ooh, that's the best power. Body, uh, we can probably still use that one. 63. I'll take that car rating. And with that, we'll get in the qualifying and probably expect another free pull. Through three and four, the car felt fine. I really like driving around this track. And that's going to be a 29 Damn, the game almost stuttered there. <laughs> yeah, Junior got second because, you know, he's a tryhard. He wants to, you know, do as much as he can to 
be a pain in the ass. But, yeah, we'll see. We just have to get a good launch off the start, which I don't even know if that's going to be a case. I mean, uh, I mean, yeah. Yeah, it is. All right. Well, I mean, well, no, not quite. He's still there. I really hope I can lead the lap, because I don't want him getting any other extra bonus points if I can help it. Oh, we got to run. Oh, we got to run. Please give me room. I almost wrecked myself. Damn it. Of course. Of course. Wait. Wait. No, okay. All right, fine, Junior, fine. Ha have your lap led. Have your fun in the sun. Oh, that just, like, went straight. I didn't like that feeling at all. All right, let's... Hope it rotates in turn three so I can troll a lot to a lead. All right, that actually rotated nicely. We should have a nice run off the corner. Yes, we do. We're going to lead the lap. Can we clear them? Yes, we can. We just, let me just get through one and two, and then I think, you know, we just need a, we need a buffer corner. If that's even a word, I don't know, but... All right. All right, we're going to be good. Now let's just put on a stupid gap between me and Junior so I can pit and have a 20-second stop and lose all the progress I gain. We're pitting the slap. The gap to second is just stupid. <laughs> in, a, in, a, in a good way. It's six and a half seconds. That's more than enough of a buffer. I don't know what Dale got here with the interval originally at this track. I'm going to assume 20 seconds. So, you know, that's my goal, even though I don't know. Which is probably for the best I don't know. Yeah, we're going to pit this time. Just a standard four-tire stop. No adjustments. Ooh, frames. Game. Emulator. Okay, we're okay. All right, four tires and we're out in the way. Guess how many time was like a 16-second stop. Eh, 16-4. Okay, they did exactly what they needed to with the estimated time. Now we'll just get going, and now we'll just kind of let everything cycle through. Cycle back out into the lead by a, a margin that is absolutely insane. <laughs> and now we'll just kind of play the game of how many cars can we lap before the end of the race, and just how many, uh, just how big of a lead can we get before at the race ends. So that'll be a fun little game I can play. My flag's out. Of course, Mr. Tryhard Dale Jr. is going to finish second. He did lead a lap earlier in the race, so he's going to get five bonus points. So we're only going to gain... Jeez, I don't know, like... Ten points, maybe? He did lap a good chunk of cars, so it'll be kind of fun to see how many I lap before the end of the race. Yeah, after three and four, I mean, it was a pretty... A nearly uncontested race win. The car is almost entirely clean. That's win number 11 of the season. I'll take it. I, well, I don't even know... <laughs> That race was disgusting. Another win to the books. Another million dollars we earned from that race alone. We lead 28 of the 33 laps. Junior second, so we're only going to gain... Yeah, 10 points. So we will get the point lead by like 6. Which is nice, but we're going into Marnsville, which I know we're not going to do well. So we're going to lose points to that unless he gets caught in the caution glitch thing. and I don't know. So how many cars did we lap up to? Up to uh, 25th. Not bad. In 33 laps. And with all that said, um, I guess we'll just jump into Martinsville. Take a quick look at the points. Yep, we'll get it by 6. Stewart dropped a couple of points. I think we have the most laps led this season. Yes, we do. By 23 over Dale Jr. Even though I'm sure that's going to change after Martinsville. <laughs> Anything to do in the car shop. Um, this one can be repaired. I can go up to a 60 on the tire wear. Uh, engines, nothing to do there. Bodies. Uh, this one, I mean, it's still good for probably one more race, but we'll probably, probably use that one more time. Um, yeah, that's, that's about it. Let me just save my progress real quick. Quick, quick, what the fuck? The f <laughs> oh my god. After adjusting my camera and saving my progress, we'll go to the race weekend. Chassis. We're gonna go with the best tire grip and where we got, which is just chassis one. Engine. This is really the best one we have with this. Body. Um, all this is almost identical, so we're gonna go with number three. 
That's a car rating 63. A lot better than the spring, but I don't know. <laughs> I guess we could just hope for some kind of miracle. Off the last corner. Um, that's going to definitely be a pull. I don't know by how much, though. We need to have a... They just... They're, they're so aggressive here. I, I don't know. Uh, we, we barely got. So, yeah, we're going to probably uh, not have a good finish. We just have to get to that first pit stop thing. Junior's uh, on the outside, so maybe we can get lucky and he gets held up there, but I highly doubt it. We do have the gears where we can go in the first, uh, never get out of fourth. Yeah, as we see, um, already lost the lead before we even got to turn one. And now it's just a... Uh, oh, boy. Now we just uh, got to survive till lap 25 or 26. And, Stay out until that uh, caution glitch happens, or if it does happen, which I'm still not even sure if it will. We're already making contact with everyone, so that's great. We're definitely going to see how slow our car is. Oh my god! It's just awful. I don't know what to say, it's just awful. Oh, man. I already lost so much time. So many people probably didn't... Uh, what a mess. It's so hard. It's so hard to race here. Good news is, I don't know why Mike Skinner's up here, but we might be able to pass him. Which, I mean, would be nice. I mean, it would result in something happening. It's just... It's just insane how much they can just send it in the corner. Even Mike Skinner can kind of do that a little bit. We are just not in a league of their own. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't even pass my Skinner. This is so... This is just depressing. Especially when our championship hunt like this. We... we I hate to be bailed out by a caution glitch, but... We're gonna have to bail on... We're gonna, we're gonna have to bank on it. Finally, it took... No. No, we're not. God, why can we not just pass Mike Skinner? Why is this so difficult? This is starting to get kind of sad. Please. I'll take it. Jesus, come, come on, car! Just turn a little bit. No matter how I feel about this race, I mean, we're running 14. Well, we were running 14. No, we're, we were still running 14. That's kind of impressive. Can I stop hitting Mark? Of all people, why do I gotta hit the people I like? Okay. Fair enough, he got by me. I tried. That's good. More cars down pit road. Just don't wreck. Just gotta let this play out. I don't see anybody down pit road yet that can trigger the caution glitch thing. The more people pit, obviously, the better, because they'll pit him a lap down. Car's gotten really bad. We just gotta gotta keep hoping it plays out. Ow! Ow! Stand bare. Get your bitch ass going. I think I can go like one more lap. I don't know if everybody else pitted or not. This car is doing weird shit. I'll tell you that much. I've never seen it. It just like it's skid. It's like sliding on the straightaway. Like nothing about this car feels right. <laughs> and we're out of fuel. Well, the caution glitch didn't happen. And now we're going to be really far back in the pack because, uh, yeah, well, there goes our race. I, it was just We just continue, continue to have horrific luck. We're going to cycle so badly. It's just unreal. Just, just things just continue to not go our way. 38th fucking place. I mean, what do I possibly say about that? I mean, our championship is done. Dale Jr. Kurt Busch is leading. That's weird. That's really weird. Yeah, I mean, still, Dale Jr. 5th. I mean, that's still... Way too far. But, I mean, we we're gonna lose so much points. I mean, our championship, I think, is pretty much done. We're about to pass somebody, and I couldn't even do it cleanly. Good news is we're catching Michael Waltrip. I mean, it's 
for three points, but I mean, that could be a big difference between championship or not. It's just a shame how much points we're going to lose from this race. All because I can't really pit like I'm supposed like you know when I'm supposed to. So I'm trying to anticipate the caution caution glitch. So I can't really you know do the race as I as the game wants me to. I have to kind of try to play by the the broken rules of it at this track. So I just it's a gamble and it, it just it didn't pay off. So we, we really got hit hard by it. And we lost 20 plus spots during the cycle of green flag pit stops. Also, doesn't help we ran out of fuel. Don't fucking blow the car up either. Trying to do something with Hermes Sadler, but it's just. They're able to get through the corners, at least into the corners, so much deeper. And I can get a good run in the center and off, but it's just not quite enough. It's just so sad. Like, we're having a hard time just trying to pass 36. On, like, the freshest tire. We have the freshest tires in the whole field, and we can't even capitalize on it. God damn it. I almost hit the fucking barrel. It's just unreal. I mean, this series is just falling apart. I mean, this wouldn't be whole, like awful if we just didn't have the fuck up at Richmond. Like, I know I I restarted it, but like I've never had the game just enable auto save for no reason. Like, why is that even a thing? Whatever. We gained a spot. It took us almost everything we got to get 36. I'll fucking take it. Kurpush wins, which is honestly really fucking awesome. My controller disconnected and reconnected. It, it, apparently, my, my controller has had enough of this shit today. <laughs> but yeah, um, he gets fifth. He does lead five laps. So that's 160 points to our Jesus, uh, 160. Yeah, it's 100 points. We are uh, down like 90 points now, going into last what four races now. I mean, I guess it's possible, but we got our work cut out for ourselves. Well, we got Atlanta. I don't really... I have no clue how that's going to go. I'm just very frustrated with shit right now. We'll just repair that for normal. Anything with the body. Yes, we can. That won't go up. I'm, I'm just so frustrated. That Richmond race cost us over 100 points. That just ruined everything. We're 94 back. I, I don't know what to say. I, I don't know. I got nothing. I'm, I'm just defeated. Um, our average 8.1. Fucking. Just wrap this part up. Big shout out to my two three Patreon supporters. The Darren Reynolds, Comic Gods, The Games, Ryan Lazar, and Dave Hunter, Champ 15, NASCAR, Number Site.org, Billy Carrier, Golf Gear 100, Denny Hamill, All Japan, Emil Bebser, Mexican Link 1986, Mark Harmon, and Jason Helmick for donation again. I can't thank guys enough for contribution and support that channel every single month. It does mean a lot. And I'm always just really thankful for what you guys do. It's just, it's very much appreciated. It really does help uh, me and the channel out. You guys are, our, are the ultimate MVPs. And um, I said this like thousands of times now, so I don't know how to make it any different. But um, my eyelash likes you. That's something different, isn't it? Well, that'll do it for me. I, I We just didn't get lucky at Martinsville. And it's just really unfortunate. Atlanta, I, I just don't know how that's going to go. Um, after that, we have uh, Phoenix and Rockingham, I think. I think that's the next couple races, yeah. Atlanta, Phoenix, and Rockingham. I think Phoenix and Rockingham, we could probably get a win. But if Junior gets second, we're only going to gain like 15 points on him, max. So that's still not going to be enough. I mean, we're going to have to win out the whole rest of the season, which I don't even know if that's possible. I mean, I, I, I don't know. It's... If we lose the championship by like 100 points or however many, I'm going to blame Richmond for that. Because why on earth did it enable my autosave when the game never does that for me? I've done like like multiple seasons, tons and tons of hours on this on, on the emulator. I've never had it. Even off camera, it never did that. So that's even more bizarre. So I, it's just a shame. I should have just 
kept going with it. But I was just so frustrated because I was dealing with that fucking stupid ass third party controller and it just didn't feel right. Just bullshit, man. My controller still. It's. It's fine now, but like, what? Why is it fine now? I don't know. It's just. There it went. See, that's how that's how sensitive it is. So I'm like, even when I'm racing, I'm afraid to even move <laughs> because I'm afraid it's gonna shut off and make me die. But yeah, that's how sensitive it is. Maybe because I wrapped it up. Like I, I I did this. Maybe if I do that, it'll like fix it. I don't know. Maybe that's what I gotta do. I don't know. Well, that'll do it for me. I'll see you all later. Have a good day, everyone.